What should I be eating mm. in your view to stay high energy, to stay focused, et cetera, et cetera? And what should I not be eating? So you should definitely avoid granola, okay. anything sweet, right? You want to think about, okay, protein at breakfast. So actually your breakfast wrap was pretty good, I would say, because it has eggs, it has avocado, it has, you know, some fats, some protein. That's pretty, pretty good. And as long as the wrap is not like a huge amount of bread, you're mm -hmm. fine because it's fine to have bread or starches in the morning for taste. So to me, that would feel like a really good really good option. And if you do get tired after eating something like that, maybe you're having a bit too much food. That can also be a, a thing. Um, so maybe you have half and you should feel pretty good. Okay. That's good to know. I and, always wonder. And then, you know, a lot of people, they're sad to give up their sweet breakfast foods. And here's another hack you can use. It's you can still have that sugar, but have it as dessert after lunch or after dinner, instead of like in the morning on an empty stomach. So it's not about cutting anything out. It's about learning to place the foods and organize them in a way that keeps your glucose levels steady so that you don't kick off the cravings roller coaster where you feel so controlled by all the sugar and the food around you. Is there anything that you think we might have missed? Well, another thing we can talk about, which is a common myth, is that sugar for breakfast gives you energy. We kind of covered it in mm. many different ways, but I want people to understand sugar gives you pleasure it does not give you energy. It is not good for your energy levels. I, yeah, that's what's really, that's a paradigm shift for me because I, I would have thought that having something sugary before doing like this podcast yeah. would make me like, da -da 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 -da. so that, da -da 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 -da, that's not energy, that's dopamine. Okay. And even though it feels good for a little while, then you crash and then you okay. want more. It's actually not unlocking like deep biological energy and stamina. It's just making you da 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 da. And by the way, sometimes you want the da da da. Yeah. Like if you're writing something and you're just like, I need some da da da, just to eat that cookie, you know? Sometimes we need to use it to our advantage that dopamine hits. But long term, it's not what's going to be helpful for you. And if you did that thing every time you recorded a podcast, after a few months, you'd feel really chronically tired and you'd be like, okay, this is not working anymore because your mitochondria would have suffered so much on the inside. I was watching your um, some of your interviews and the most replayed part of one of your interviews was you describing what you ate. No way. Yes. It was, wow. it was an hour and a half long interview. And at the very, very end of it, the interviewer asked you what you ate on a daily basis. Wow. And that was the highest spike oh. in, the, in the replay time. So I thought, you know, for clearly that's what people want to know at home that's right interesting. now. So in an in a, in a in an idyllic okay. Jesse day. Okay. So my favorite two egg omelets for breakfast. Give me timings as well. Oh wow, phew! I mean that depends. I really my days change so much. Um, I don't know, like on an idyllic day based okay. on the science. If you were being superwoman. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark here. Um, okay, I wake up at seven forty-five have breakfast at 8.15, two egg omelets with feta and tomatoes. And then that makes me feel pretty good and full until lunch. At lunch, I usually will have like a big ass salad. So like maybe some spinach, quinoa, everything mixed together. I put some vinegar dressing in there to reduce the spike. Um, salmon, avocado, cheese, like a nice big like yummy thing. Then inevitably, inevitably in the afternoon, I want to eat something sweet because I, I love sugar. Like that's the thing you have to understand. Like I love sweet foods. And that's one of the reasons that I figured out all these hacks. Cause I was like, I need to reduce my spikes cause I want my mental health to improve, but I don't want to give up my chocolate cake. Like that's just not happening. So anyway, inevitably in the afternoon, I'm like, mm, time for some sweet foods. So I'll do lots of hacks around that. I'll do the vinegar hack before the chocolate cake. I'll also do another hack we haven't spoken about yet called putting clothing on your carbs. Um, and so that means when you're eating starches and sugars, add some protein, fat, or fiber to them. So for example, I'll have the chocolate cake with some Greek yogurt, which is actually a freaking delicious combo as well. So I'll do that and then I'll go for a walk or I'll go to the gym, or I'll use my muscles. So I'm getting all the pleasure from the cake with less of an impact. And then in the evening is usually when I have more time to have like a more like longer meal. So I'll do veggie starter, some nice whatever proteins and pasta afterwards. Um, and then usually I don't really want anything sweet at, after dinner because I've had the sweet thing in the afternoon. That would be my, you know, common 
food habits. But then today, for example, I woke up at 5.45 because I had this shoot to go to in the morning before coming here. And so I just grabbed some ham from my fridge and I have it in my bag now. And I just started munching on some ham in the morning because Again, a protein-centric breakfast is really key to making sure you have lots of energy all day. And I wanted to come here and have a lot of energy, you know? So I was like, I need to be really good about my savory breakfast today. So I just had that. You're very, very good at simplifying things, but also making them like uh, both accessible and not intimidating. Mm. And that word intimidating is one that I've I've come to learn is quite prevalent when people are t listening to food conversations. Yeah. They feel like, oh my God, it's a lot. And it because there's so much, they don't really take anything simple and actionable into their lives. Yeah. So if you were to try and summarize the message you're trying to sp spread into maybe like a sentence or two mm. that someone can embrace as a philosophy for their dietary choices and their eating habits, what, what exactly would that be? I think it would be learn the glucose hacks and then just eat everything you love. These hacks, I hope they become, and this is kind of my mission, I hope they become as well-known as drink water, brush your teeth. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for. These are fundamental scientific principles that can really help you break free and fast track you to feeling so, so much better. And they will help you cut through all the noise in the marketing, et cetera, because it's really about how your body functions on like a biochemical level. So sorry, that was more than one sentence, but no, that's you great. get it. And how are you feeling now? You've obviously been on a health journey of your own, but where do you yeah. find yourself today? Man, I am so grateful today because, for example, you know, I'm on this trip now and I'm staying in an Airbnb by myself for 10 days. Here like, in I'm, Yeah, <laughs> like I'm alone. And back in the day, you know, when I was 19 and I broke my back, I couldn't spend 20 minutes alone. I would have a panic attack. I am so happy of that journey, but I really don't wish it on anyone. Like it was freaking horrible. But now I'm like, oh, like, I did it. I healed. I went through this stuff. I understand my body. And now I just want to make sure that I share this information with as many people as I possibly can. Um, and that's what really excites me. So I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking, Stephen. If you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor. Become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously. And the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.